Good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing? Was everybody here um, two, three months ago in June when we did Ted Oil Spill? Good. Well, I'm glad to be back um, because I asked a big question on that day. We had situation overload in June. We didn't know what to do, and I was receiving hundreds of phone calls every week saying, what does the XPRIZE Foundation do? What are we going to do about this problem? What are we going to do about the oil spill? We're not about emergency response. The XPRIZE Foundation, some of you may know us, some of you, uh, this is the first time you hear about us, but we're about drastic changes. We're about incentivized innovation, but innovation doesn't happen overnight, and uh, I didn't have a good answer. And people ask me, what if? What if we did something? What if we brought clarity to this issue? And I ask all of you, what if? And I even put my email address up there. Do people remember that? Well, that was the most stupid things I've ever done. <laughs> because the onslaught of emails, uh, wedding invitations, uh, <laughs> triple X pictures I got was, uh, it was stunning. And, uh, but I did ask the question to all this, uh, this room, what if we could do something? What if we can bring clarity to this issue? What if we can be world-changing, innovative, and create something that's consequential for the future? And I was always looking forward and not at today's problem, because I just don't have the tool to, to solve today's problem. We're about results, and how can we drive results in an oil spill? And uh, what came up after this talk that we had in June, I went back with all our advisors and some of the leader uh, thinkers in the ocean industry, and we said, what could the XPRIZE Foundation do? Where can we use incentivized innovation, the model, the construct that we normally use in life sciences and energy and in other places uh, to this problem? And what came up is a way to inspire a new generation of oil cleanup technology. One of the major issue and failure we've had is we are not able, capable, nor do we have the technology to capture oil at the spill site. And if we can't capture the spill site, what happens to it? Well, it starts entering into the environment and everything that Susan, uh, Susan talked about happens. And this is where the XPRIZE Foundation decided to focus because this is where I think our model, our construct uh, would work the best. So I went up and raised money, and uh, we raised a, a, an aggregate purse of $1.4 million within 48 hours of uh, putting an ask out there, and we've raised another million dollars of in-kind donations so that we can run this competition. And to date, I'm happy to say that we have over 350 teams that pre-registered to this competition, the biggest turnaround for the XPRIZE Foundation in its 16-year history. So I think we have tackled an issue that we should have. Thank you. And I think you're going to hear from a few of the teams, but I can't mention them because then I would give undue advantages to them. But uh, kudos to everyone that's uh, signed up to this competition. I'm not going to go over this slide. Why are we doing this? You all know what doing, uh, what, why we're doing this. Susan talked about it. We have to find new ways. We, we have to look at tomorrow. We, we have to innovate. You know the tools we were using during this, uh, this oil spill? The same equipment that we use during Exxon Valdez. How long, how long ago was that? You guys know? Between 20 and 30 years, absolutely. So we have not evolved. The equipment was the same equipment. The people on the spill site were the same individuals. That doesn't make sense. We have to have new technology. There's new technology to get the oil out of the, uh, of the ocean. There, should, there better be new technology to clean it up. So we've developed a challenge. This is the way it goes. It's a multi-phase challenge. It will culminate in, next, in uh, October of next year. And you see behind me the schedule. Not very interesting, but just to let you know, the guidelines have been posted. We have our website, iprizecleanoceans.org. So if you want to go to our website, look at the guidelines and all the competitors. They're going to be able to blog and post their comments on the, uh, uh, concerning the competition. First deadline of submission is February 15th. And uh, on the one-year anniversary of the spill, we will announce the 10 semifinalists that will go and test their solution at the OMSET facility. And I think that together, after, you know, after our, our, our discussion at TEDx uh, in June, I really uh, do believe that we, ha we have a tool that can take care of this, uh, of this problem, and I think the XPRIZE model can then be leveraged in different places that we never thought of. So thank you to all of you pushing me, sending me those emails, and uh, making the foundation go into an area that's uncomfortable for us because we look at generating, generating innovation over 
you know, years and years. If you remember a Progressive Automotive X Prize that was won in September, it was a four-year process. The Ansari X Prize was seven years. And now we brought our models to can we do innovation quicker? Can we do it better? And can we do it for issues that are relevant today uh, and tomorrow? And uh, we have. Now, I'm asking again a question. Last time I, I've asked you, how could we help in the oil spill? And today I'm gonna to ask all of you, what are you doing to change the world? What if? Ask yourself that question. Nate and Dave have done an amazing uh, job at putting that question. What if we can change the world? What, can, what if we can do something that's consequential? And if you have answers, and if you have more questions, send them to us. We are all about what if. Every day I ask these what if questions. I'm in charge of prize design, so I talk to crazy people all the time. So please call me. <laughs> Just joking. Well, not really, but uh, uh, <laughs> I've got a very small video. It's uh, a few seconds, but it's, it's all a question of what ifs. Last time that was my email address, so now it's the website. <laughs> you, can still, you can still talk to me. Please go to our website, contact us, give us your ideas. All the questions you saw out there are issues that I am tackling in price design every day. Uh, and if any of those are at your heart, give us a call. In addition, I would, I would pledge all of you to take a little white or a little white piece of paper and a pen beside your bed and write what if. And when you wake up in the morning, trying to find something that's really consequential and write it down and send it to us. Because we're about crowdsourcing ideas, and the more ideas we get from you guys, the more input uh, we will make those uh, real. And this uh, Wendy Schmidt Oil Cleanup X Challenge is the first example of us feeding back to this crowd that we can, we can actually affect change. So thank you, and hopefully we'll see you next time, but without a crisis like we've had this, uh, this year. <laughs>